take everything that is said here with just a grain of salt. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, welcome to Debris. So here we are, in the wonderful we world of debris. debris. We can power up completely. Yeah, Hooray. Guards too. Uh, you know what to do. On it. You know what to do! It's Blue's Clues! Blue's oh, Clues! So, many of these so I've got uh, my gun, which is running off the same battery pack as my suit. We need to get to these rocks in order to recharge the suit slash gun. Um, or rather, let this little squid thing recharge, which is being uh, controlled by a woman named Sonya, who is... Uh, we were a party of three. So Sonya got split off. Uh, everybody got split off, actually. And now we're looking for our third party member named Chris, who is that little uh, mark waypoint at the top of the map there. But uh, in order to get there, I don't think an hour is going to be enough time. It probably would be if we just swam there. But no, we're going to use some power to, to shoot some of these fish, which I guess is fine. And then the squid, which is my little robot friend, is going to go and collect it and uh, distribute it evenly. I think you get 10 minutes per uh, rock, so for each rock that's 5 minutes for both the squid and I, because it is divided evenly. It's a relatively easy game, I would call it like a walking simulator or something like that. You're basically swimming through underwater ice tunnels for the majority of the time, and um, I, I haven't really come too close to dying. Near the end of the game there are a few close calls, but everything seems to be spaced out to the point where um, it's not it, it's not an extremely challenging game unless your aim is like super bad and my aim is pretty terrible and I'm able to do it so you just kinda need to like swim close enough to the guards that they line up and charge at you and then while they're charging just flop them in the face um, most of what you will be fighting is those little fish fish fucks um, and it seems like you forgot a you forgot a rock, didn't you? Damn it! Hey, hey, what are you doing over there? Can you can you go can you go get this? Is this a thing that you can get? Oh my god! Please please stop! What are you doing? So uh, there's a couple problems with this game. The controls are really quite wonky as you're swimming through tunnels and things like that, and there is no way to swim down really. You can use the space bar to swim up, um, which is kind of helpful, but as for swimming down, you're kind of left to your own devices, so you gotta point your head down and dive into the tunnels, which is uh, a little bit difficult uh, to find the tunnels every once in a while, just because you're extremely low field of view. So there are some other fishy freaks, they're not going to attack me. I saw those right before I got sucked into the pit! The pit of doom! And we are experiencing a bit of graphical failure here. It's a little bit choppy, which I guess I can forgive. I guess. It needs to be optimized just a little bit more. Oh, uh, okay, hello. Debug. Subsuit communication backup. Local storage. Last modified four hours ago. Total recovered entries, 63. Oh god, I hope I don't have to read all of those. Initiate playback! Subsuit log audio transcript. Hello, Ryan. Welcome to Alta Subsuit, a cutting edge system for low temperature underwater exploration. Now that the suit is sealed and running, please gradually submerge. The suit will automatically detect submersion and begin enabling subsystems. Before you go, please complete a quick gesture based survey to help us improve. To respond, nod your head vertically for yes and shake your head horizontally for no. In your opinion, would you describe your Subsuit OS startup experience as intuitive? Interesting. One of our engineers will follow up to help us optimize the experience. In your opinion, would you describe your Subsuit OS vocalized audio persona as relatable? Thanks for letting us know! That's me. I'm the, I'm the vocal persona. <laughs> Before we continue the survey, would you like to continue the survey? No. Interesting. Survey complete. <laughs> See, I said the same thing the first time around. Have a nice dive. File lost. Great. I wasn't shaking my head at all, so I guess the uh, answers were all pre-recorded and stuff. Can I get out of this little uh, weird thing? There's the squid. Hey, buddy! And there's a tunnel offshoot that I didn't see before. So that'll be good, I suppose. I don't know. I ain't no scientist. 
Wait, yes I am. Aha! I'm an underwater scientist! Sonia designed the, the gun and the squid. I'm not exactly sure what my role here is. Ryan, but I guess... Oh, God! Jeez, fart! Those are big ones. Dang, those some big ones. Look at that right there. That's alright. Handled. Check it out, kid. Handled. And, uh, the AI is a little weird on this squid thing. As you can see, it collects one rock and then runs right back to me. When obviously there's more rocks to collect. I think the AI could use a little more work. I'm not sure this game is worth full price. Uh, asking price on Steam right now is $20, which is pretty fucking hefty for a game that can be completed in three hours. Uh, the voice acting's pretty good. It does lack a little bit of optimization and, uh, a little bit of interaction as well, if you want me to be completely frank. I'm not super impressed, but um, I do enjoy it for what it is. The story is what sucks me in. There's my flares. Probably in shock trying to figure out what happened. Oh, the flare! Let's keep moving! Maybe we'll pick him up again. Probably not. We're headed in the exact opposite direction. Oh, wait! Hairpin turn. Squirp! Check that shit out. So as you can see, the the tunnels are relatively straightforward in this game. You do have a little bit of puzzling to do, uh, especially in the very beginning. Maybe that has more to do with getting used to the controls, but there's not too many offshoots of the tunnels and stuff like that. It's a very, very straightforward game, which um, it's not necessarily something that... Um, pleases me. I like games with more of a sandbox feel to them. Oh boy. There's something happening at four frames per second. <laughs> if that. Jesus Christ. That was some slowdown. But now the game's saved. Hey! And there's a bunch of guards down here, so I'll go up. Take those out. They do have a really erratic swimming pattern, which makes it a little hard to shoot them unless they're charging at you. But they will charge at you. Just gotta shoot their buddies and they're like, hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, what do you think I'm doing? Killing your buddies, bruh. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it, kid? You gonna sit there and die like the rest. Mess with the best, die like the rest. That's right, kid. So, uh, this is the majority of the game. If this looks interesting to you, then definitely, uh, consider catching it on sale. It's not... I, yeah, I think it's on sale for $12 right now. But, um, yeah, even at $12, Let's keep I'd recommend it at maybe 5 4 or 5 That That seems about fair. But, yeah, it's, uh, not long enough or really interactive enough to warrant any more than that, in my opinion. But I'm also, like, a budget gamer, you know? If you're somebody who drops $60 on a game without thinking about it, then, eh. Must be the same ones that attacked you and damn it oh 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 damn please fish go away using some battery powers quick the squid's getting hit yep yep I'm uh trying to do my best here she's like eh do better Ryan, help why are you all damn the way it. over there if I shoot you with my gun will that power you up will it shut you up at the very least Okay, I think I got him. I don't understand why you want to swim all the way over there. And there we go with that frame rate drop again. Oh my god! Is it my computer? Is it my recording program? Is it the game? I'm none too sure. I was definitely having some uh, problems with uh, frame rate drops even without any recording programs running. So I blame either the computer or my game. I've seen some other people play it with relative ease, so uh, yeah take everything that is said here with just a grain of salt. I hear the ice cracking above me. The sound work is really, really nice in this How game. Get out of here? Keep following the current. Yeah. Keep following the current. Yeah, duh. I got it down. Down like a clown. Oh, wow, fart. Shit. Where'd that come from? Was that you? Was that you? Is that me? Alright. Well, I guess that works. Go ahead and switch modes. Shoot a flare over there. We do have quite a few different modes. Let's see. We got burst. We got pulse. That's like it's like a shower head. 
A shower head that shoots lasers. We got massage. Ooh. That's gonna be a nice one for the ladies. Oh yeah. 15 minutes remaining. 15 minutes remaining? I really fucked up, didn't I? Hey, Squiddy. Come, come collect these things for daddy. I'm gonna die in 10 minutes. I, I don't think I've ever died in this game. So that would be quite a shocker. There we go. Boost me back up. 43 minutes. Yeah. Took a couple of hits that I didn't need to take, but I guess that all works out fine. Hey! Are you not gonna share with me? You know you're nothing without me. The the squids are just gonna eat you alive down here. Or the, the fish. Jesus. Okay, stabilize. Stabilize. There you go. I don't know what causes that. Not my favorite thing. You can complete the game in three hours unless you're dealing with massive frame rate drops and then uh, it's probably add another 30 minutes or something. Couple more fishies. Boop boop. Like I said, this is the, uh, the vast majority of the game. Shoot the fish, get the power from the rocks. Continue on. You're just uh, wanting to complete the story then um yeah you could watch it on YouTube and basically get the same effect at least in my opinion hmm okay. they've got some Just no commentary walkthroughs shifted, if that's what you're fish, into then the noise. you can enjoy the voice acting this and the little pulse like of the engine remember as you let the the water wash what over you and cleanse your sins asking me this? Ryan help oh jeez fart poop okay stabilize thank you so difficult so much more difficult than it needs to be there we go now go get 10 minutes more yeah trying to keep up my my chit chat while two people are talking in my ears is more difficult than it seems which is probably why I don't play games with a lot of cut cutscenes because I can't uh because I can't stop this myself from talking over them. Going. And it's not great. It's not great commentary because I'm a little bit distracted by all the shit going on in my ears. Oh, there's no guards on these ones. Or maybe they're somewhere else. Oh! No, I think it's fine. Look, our suit is almost to maximum power. Ooh, max headroom. Let's shoot a couple flares around. I assume we're gonna have to go that way. But I'm not really sure. There you go, just collect one rock and bring it back, because that's the most efficient way to do things, right? Isn't it? Totally. Yeah. The game is nice for what it is, uh, but it still needs a little help to be uh, a great title. For me to say, run out and buy this right now for $20, that, that takes quite a little bit. You know, a couple extra game modes, something like that, would uh, pick things up considerably. But at the moment, it's a story that you'll probably play through once. It doesn't have any great twists and turns. Um, I can't say if there are multiple endings at the moment. I'm not really sure, because I've completed this game a total of one time. So if it has multiple endings, then perhaps it's a little more worth it. But um, yeah, I'm still not super impressed. Even with multiple endings, I don't think I'd be coming back for the uh, the rock collecting gameplay. We gotta go in there! It looks like a giant evil demon face, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. We're gonna go into his eyes. I'm gonna poke him in the right eye. Here we go! Come over this way, follow me! It's gonna be awesome. I used to have a flashlight, uh, but it was stolen by a fish in an early cutscene. So now the squid is my only source of light, which kind of makes things frustrating. Oh, it's not my only source Holy of light. Shit, I got that? this... Some oh! Oh, it's fucking worm thing! Did you see it? Whoa! Whoa! Shoot it in the face! Oh my god! Yeah, you got me pretty good, huh? Got me pretty good, you fucker! I think that's supposed to happen. There's no, like, sprint or anything. The thrusters have one speed, and it is the turtle speed. You know, on the on the lawnmowers, you know? They got, like, multiple speeds and stuff. 
the turtle or the rabbit. Well, this, this suit only has the turtle speed. Just thank for uh, Squiddy sharing some of the powers. Oh my god. This is pretty fun, isn't it? Dodging giant worm faces. Um, could we not? Okay, that's fine. We're doing great. Swim, swim, swim. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. And yeah, the music is uh, pretty nice as well. Like I said, the sound work in this game is probably uh, the nicest place? thing of all. Frightening. Can you believe this place? Frightening. Uh, like shit your pants kind of frightening. If I really saw one of them giant worms underwater, I poop in my, my super suit. Where's my super suit? Where is my super suit? Super soup. No soup for you. Oh god, I'm just I'm just meme spout now. I am meme spout now. We are have fun. We are collect rock underwater. Hopefully we'll find Chris. And then we'll find out what all this stuff is about. But probably uh not gonna happen on camera. We have enough power. Let's go. The game is uh, decent, but definitely not engaging for me to uh, engaging enough for me to be like, oh, let's let's make a series of it on the channel, because I've got a lot of other games that have impressed me quite a bit more. That I'm like, okay, this one's up next. Debris. Hmm. I'd say uh, I'd say go watch uh, the three-hour no commentary video and uh, have have the immersive experience for yourself. Save yourself twenty bucks. That's pretty nice. Anyways, I uh, showed all of what this game is about. You know, you got a couple of uh, tense moments, mostly swimming around collecting rocks. I think that's a, a good summation of it. If you like the voice acting, if you like uh, walking slash swimming simulators um, with a relatively good story, then I'd suggest checking it out at the very least. Support the uh, Canada Media Fund and Moonray, which is the people that developed and published this game. It's not bad, all things considered. I can't say it's a bad game. Whoa! Really big. It's Chris again. How the hell? How the hell? Anyways, we're not going to see the really big fish. Uh, I'm going to call it here, friends. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, go ahead, check this game out. Link is in the description if you did enjoy. I've also got links to uh, Discord if you want to chat me up a little bit. Twitter, see if uh, you want to see some of my mind vomit. And then Patreon if you want to support me monetarily, which would be really helpful with uh, buying some newer games for the channel. New equipment, new games, stuff like that, you know, all uh, a worthy, worthy investment, and I do appreciate it so very much. We've also got these uh, like buttons, comment buttons, subscription buttons, if that's what Over you're here. into. Uh, I'm pretty into that, if you want me to be quite honest. I'm into you being into that. So uh, check it out. If, you, if you've if you already hit them, then, then just disregard everything I just said and you're a wonderful person. Anyways, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, friends. I'll see you in the next one, whatever we decide to do next. This has been Debris. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I will see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye See you.